Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on Richard Dawson. And many of you may be saying, Diva, who's that? Well, Richard Dawson, a long time ago, was the host of Family Feud. Way before the Steve Harvey, there was Richard Dawson, who would go down the line when he was introducing the families that are about to compete against each other. Any female member in that family that was there to play Family Feud, he planted a kiss right on the lips. Hold on, everybody. Let me just uh, show you this video real quick. I can only show a quick couple of seconds. I hope they don't even ding me for this. We're going to show a couple of seconds here. Uh, Richard Dawson getting it in with the ladies, okay? And he didn't discriminate. Chocolate, vanilla, whatever. He liked all flavors. Let's look at Richard being messy. Boom. 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 That's for luck. Boom. Look at this one. So she wanted more. <laughs> Messy boobs. Okay. That was Richard Dawson. Listen, the entertainment industry has been so sinister for so long. But you know what? Sometimes they put things in our face and the way they presented it in our face, you know, many didn't even realize, wait, hold on. This ain't even right. Now, I will say, back then, there were some people that complained. They was like, hold on, wait a minute. Isn't this a little nasty? Couldn't he be passing, you know, diseases on as he go down the line, just kissing, 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 kissing people? So what they decided to do was, they decided to do on the spot herpes test. So you was coming to be a contestant on Family Feud under his watch when he was host? You had to get swabbed on the spot, and, and then the staff had a flashlight and was just flashing in your mouth to make sure they didn't see any open sores or anything like that. Talking about messy, real messy. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this, but this is important to share this story. Why? Because Hollywood just progressed and progressed and progressed and progressed with the taking advantage of females. We're going to get into it right after this. Share screen. Where we at here? All right. So Family Feud contestants had to take her speech test when Richard Dawson hosted. A book is being written about this situation, okay? So Family Feud contestants allegedly had to take herpes tests during the former host Richard Dawson's reign. The comedian who died at 79 in 2012 had a knack for kissing female players on the mouth during the show's episodes. And in order to keep everyone sanitary, tests for the oral sores went down on set according to the new book being written, Outrageous, A History of Showbiz in the Culture Wars. The author um, penned that the iconic trivia show endorsed the new policy and had both male and female contestants undergo a mouth test with a magnifying glass from medical um, staff, okay? The, um, the author recounted one player's alleged experience who recalled one production assistant announcing, okay, everybody line up for your herpes test in a dressing room. Excuse me? How about Richard cannot kiss me? Dawson, 
uh, was the host of the game show from 1976 to 1985 and from 1994 to 1995. The assessments were implemented with a string of competitors complained about Dawson's actions, okay? So they got mad, got a little jealous. They like he over there raking in the ratings, but he's kissing these people. Do something about it. They wanted him to stop, okay? So several game show fans were repulsed by Dawson, okay, the off described. A letter was then published in the Philadelphia Daily News, which slammed the show for having promiscuous kissing. Oh, forget about just promiscuous kissing. Kissing, he should have never been like this is ridiculous because you might have felt like you had to kiss him if you was going to be a contestant on there. I passed. The memo read, as a physician, I wondered about the risk Richard Dawson takes in kissing every female contestant on Family Feud. He was getting his freak on. Now, the diseases that could be transmitted by promiscuous kissing are too long and too lonesome to recount here. This is what the doctor wrote at the time. Does Dawson or the producers take any um, quotient to prevent infection? Are none of them informed, the letter asks. So the writer of the book spoke to people about his new book and gave some insight into how history has changed the show's landscape. When you watch clips of that era of Family Feud on YouTube and you see Dawson kissing the ladies, a lot of the comments, uh, comments in the comment section will say things like, well, it was a different time. That's the way men were back then. Or that's the way men are still now. We see that with the whole Diddy situation, Aaron Hall. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Okay. People weren't so sensitive, he said. Is that sensitive or was that a little more messy? He went on, and here again is evidence to the contrary that all kinds of people were complaining. Dawson stated the telephone, the, to the Television Academy in 2010 why he kissed the players. The Hogan's Heroes alum, who died from complications of esophageal, esophageal cancer, began handing out smooches because one female contestant was so tense that she couldn't name a vegetable. I said, I'm going to do something that my mom would do to me whenever I had any kind of problem, he said at the time. And I kissed her on the cheek. And I said, that's for luck. And she said, asparagus. So he's saying his good luck kiss helped the people relax, calm down. And although they might have been nervous about the game before his kiss, once he kissed them, they calmed down. And he said, listen, this ain't a man thing. This is something my mother used to do to me to help me calm down. She planned a little kiss on me. And after mama kissed me, all was well. So he figured he kissed the ladies to calm them down. Well, you, what did you do for the men, Richard? Now, may Richard rest in peace, okay? And I only bring this story up to say this, and this is all jokes aside. This is how these things start. Is little things that progress into bigger things. Back then, he was just allowed to walk down the line and kiss everybody, all the females, and nobody thought nothing of it. And it progressed in entertainment where the ladies, the females, um, you know, they're, they're seen as objects, so to speak. Because he ain't kiss a male for good luck. You, do you, none of the men got nervous? Listen, that was Richard Dawson, y'all. And that was back then, okay? Richard going down, kissing the people one by one. Listen, everybody, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe with the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Listen, guys, see you on the next video. Chat with me, and I will definitely chat back. Is this not messy? But this is how things start, and then they progress to something bigger and bigger and bigger. Rest in peace, Richard. But it was messy what you did. Bye, everybody.